Genesis chapter 25. And then again, Abraham took a wife, and her name was Keturah. And she bare him Zimran, and Jokshan, and Medan, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua. And Jokshan begat Sheba, and Dedan. And the sons of Dedan were Assyrian, and Latushim, and Luma. And the sons of Midian, Ephah, and Ephah, and Hanuk, and Abida, and Eldah. All these were the children of Keturah. And Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac. But unto the sons of the concubines which Abraham had, Abraham gave gifts and sent them away from Isaac his son, while he yet lived eastward unto the east country. And these are the days of the years of Abraham's life, which he lived a hundred and threescore and fifteen years. A hundred, <clears throat> hundred threescore and fifteen years. And Abraham gave up the coast and died in a good old age, an old man and full of years and was gathered to his people. And his sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah in the fields of Ephraim, the son of Zohar, the Hittite, which is before Mamah, the field which Abraham purchased of the sons of Heth, there was Abraham buried, and Sarah his wife. And it came to pass after the death of Abraham that God blessed his son Isaac, and dwelt, and Isaac dwelt by the land of Lahai Roi. Now these are the generations of Ishmael, Abraham's son whom Hagar the Egyptian, Sarah's handmaid, bare unto Abraham. And these are the names of the sons of Ishmael, by their names according to their generations, the firstborn of Ishmael, Nabajah, and Kedar, and Abir, and Mipsham, and Mishma, and Duma, and Masa, Hadar, and Tima, Jitor, Nafish and Kedemah. These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are their names and their towns, and by their castles, twelve princes, according to their nations. And these are the years of the life of Ishmael, a hundred and thirty and seven years, and he gave up the ghost and died, and, and was gathered unto his people. And they dwelt from Havilah unto Shur, that is before Egypt, as thou goest toward Assyria. And he died in the presence of all his brethren. And these are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham begat Isaac. And Isaac was forty years old when he took Rebekah to wife, the daughter of Bethuel the Syrian of Padam Aram, the sister of Laban the Syrian. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife, because she was barren. And the Lord entreated of him, and Rebekah his wife conceived. So he asked the Lord to allow Rebekah to conceive in the child, because she, she couldn't have no kids. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bonds. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red, all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. And after that came his brother out. And his hand took hold of Esau's heel. And his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three scores a year old when he buried him. 
And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison, but Rebekah loved Jacob. And Jacob sighed pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And, I, and Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? <laughs> and Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he, and he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils. And he did eat and drink, and rose up and went his way. Does Esau despise his birthright? Chapter 26. And there was a famine in the land, besides the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went unto Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Korah. And the Lord appeared unto him, and said, Go not down into Egypt. Dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. So join in this land, and I will be with thee, and will bless thee. For unto thee and thy seed I will give all these countries, and I will perform the oath which I swear unto Abraham thy father. And I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven, and I will give unto thee seed all these countries. And in thy seed shall all nations of the earth be blessed. Because Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge and my commandments, my statutes and my laws. And Isaac dwelt in Gerar, and the men of the place asked of him his wife, and he said, She is my sister. For he feared to say, She is my wife, lest, <laughs> said he, the men of this place should kill me for Rebecca, because she was fair to look upon. And it came to pass, when he had been there a long time, and Abimelech, king of the Philistines, looked out of the window. And saw, and behold, Isaac was sporting with Rebekah, his wife. And the people that called Isaac and said, Behold, of a surety, she is thy wife. And how saidest thou, she is my sister? And Isaac said unto him, Because I said, lest I die for her. And the people that said, What is this thou hast done unto us? One of the people might have lightly have lain with thy wife. <laughs> And thou should have brought guiltiness upon us. And Abimelech charged all his people, saying, He that touches this man or his wife shall surely be put to death. Then Isaac sold in that land and received in the same year a hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. And the man waxed great. And he went forward and grew until he became very great. So he became very wealthy. The Lord blessed him a hundredfold. He was rich. He was a rich man. And he had possessions of flocks and possession of herds and great store of servants, and the Philistines envied him. For all the wells of which his father's servant had digged in the days of Abraham, Abraham, his father, the Philistines had stopped them and filled them with earth. And Abimelech said unto Isaac, Go from us, for thou art much mightier than we. <laughs> they say, Hey, Isaac, he even got too rich. He ain't got richer than us. He got to go. We, we both can't share. We can't all share this bread. And Isaac departed thence and pitched his tent in the, in the valley of Gerar and dwelt there. And Isaac digged again in the wells, digged again the wells of water, which they had digged in the days of Abraham his father. For the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham, and he called their names after the names by which his father had called them. And Isaac's servants digged in, in the valley and found there a well of spring of water. And the herdmen of Gerar did strive with Isaac's herdmen, saying, The water is ours. And he called the name of the well Issach, because they strove with them. 
And they digged another well and strove for that also. And he called the name of it Sitna. And he removed from thence and digged another well for that they strove not. And he called the name of it Rehoboth. And he said, For now the Lord hath made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. And he went up from thence to Bathsheba. And the Lord appeared unto him the same night and said, I am God. I am the God of Abraham thy father. Fear not, for I am with thee, and I will bless thee, and multiply thy seed for thy, for my servant's sake, for my servant Abraham's sake. And he built an altar there, and called upon the name of the Lord, and pitched his, t his tent there. And there Isaac's servants did the well. Then Abimelech went to him and from went to uh, went to him from Gerar. And uh Ahuza, one of his friends, and Fifko, Fitko, the chief captain of his army. And Isaac said unto them, Wherefore come ye to me, seeing you hate me, and have sent me away from you? And they said, We saw certainly that the Lord was with thee. And we said, Let us let there be now an oaks betwixt us, even betwixt us and thee, and let us make a covenant with thee, that thou wilt do us no hurt, as we have not touched thee, and as we have done unto thee nothing but good, and have sent thee away in peace. Thou art now the blessed of the Lord. And he made them a feast, and they did eat and drink. And they rose up bedtimes in the morning and swear one to another. And Isaac sent them away and departed from him in peace. And it came to pass the same day that Isaac's servants came and told him concerning the well which they had digged and said unto him, We have found water. And he called it uh, Sheba. Therefore the name of the city is Beersheba unto this day. And Esau was forty years old when he took to wife Judah, the daughter of Beri, the Hittite, and Beshma, the daughter of Elon, the Hittite, which were a grief of mind unto Isaac and to Rebekah. Genesis chapter 27. And it came to pass that when Isaac was old, and his eyes were dim so that he could not see, he called Esau his eldest son and said unto him, My son, and he said unto him, Behold, here am I. And he said, Behold, now I am old. I know not the day of my death. Now therefore take, I pray thee, thy weapons, thy quiver and thy bow, and go out to the, to the field, and take me some venison, and make me savory meat such as I love. And bring it to me, that I might eat, that my soul may bless thee before I die. And Rebekah heard when Isaac spake to Esau his son. And Esau went to the field to hunt for venison, and to bring it. And Rebekah spake unto Jacob her son, saying, Behold, I heard thy father speak unto Esau thy brother, saying, Bring me venison, and make me savory meat, that I might eat, and bless thee before the Lord, before my death. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice according to that which I command thee. Go now to the flock and fetch me from thence two good kids of goats, of the goats, and I will make them savory meat for thy father such as he loved. And thou shalt bring it to thy father that he might that he may eat, and that he may bless thee before his death. And Jacob said to Rebekah his mother, Behold, Esau my brother is a hairy man, and I am a smooth man. My father preadventure will fill me, and I shall and I shall seem to him as a deceiver, and I shall bring a curse upon me, and not a blessing. And his mother said unto him, Upon me be thy curse, my son. Obey only obey my voice and go fetch them, fetch me them. And he went and fetched, 
and brought them to his mother. And his mother made savory meat, such as his father loved. And Rebekah took goodly raiment of her eldest son Esau, which were with her in the house, and put them upon Jacob, her younger son. And she put the skins of the kids of the goats upon his hands, and upon the smooth of his neck. And she gave the savory meat and the bread, which she had prepared into the hand of her son Jacob. And he came unto his father and said, My father. And he said, Here am I. Who art thou, my son? And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau, thy firstborn. I have done according as thou badest me. Arise, I pray thee, sit and eat of my venison, that thy soul may bless me. And Isaac said unto his son, How is it that thou hast found it so quickly, my son? And he said, Because the Lord thy God brought it to me. And, I, and Isaac said unto Jacob, Come near, I pray thee, that I might feel thee, my son, whether thou be my very son Esau or not. And Jacob went near unto Isaac his father, and he fell him. And said, his vo the voice is, is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. <laughs> and he discerned him not, because his hands were hairy, and his brother Esau's hands, as his brother Esau's hands, so he blessed him. And he said, Art thou my very son Esau? And he said, I am. And he said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's venison, that my, my soul may bless thee. And he brought it near to him, and he did eat, and he brought him wine, and he drank. And his father Isaac said unto him, Come near me, come near now, and kiss me, my son. And he came near and kissed him, and he smelled the smell of his raiment, and blessed him, and said, See, the smell of my son is, is as the smell of the, of, of the field which the Lord had blessed. Therefore, God, give thee of the dew of heaven, and the fatness of the earth, and the plenty of the corn and wine. Let people serve thee, and nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over my brethren, and let my mother's sons bow down to thee. Cursed be every one that curseth thee, and blessed be he that blesseth thee. And it came to pass. As soon as Isaac had made an end of blessing Jacob, and Jacob was yet scarce going out from the presence of Isaac his father, that Esau his brother came in from his hunting. And he, and he also made savory meat, and brought it unto his father, and said unto his father, Let my father arise, and eat of his son's venison, that thy soul may bless me. And Isaac his father said unto him, Who art thou? And he said, I am thy son, thy firstborn Esau. And Isaac trembled very exceedingly and said, Who? <laughs> Where is he that had taken, uh, that have taken venison and brought it me? And I have eaten all before thou camest and have blessed him. Yea, and he shall be blessed. And when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great and exceedingly bitter cry. And he said unto his father, Bless me, even me also, O oh, my father. And he said, Thy brother came with subtly, and have taken away thy blessing. And he said, I'm not. Um, and he said, Is not he rightly named Jacob? <laughs> For he has supplanted me these two times. For he had taken away my birthright, and now, now he has taken away my blessing. And he said, Hast thou not reserved a blessing for me? And Isaac answered him, answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy Lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants, and with corn and wine have I sustained him. And what shall I do now unto thee, my son? And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O oh, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, and of the dew of heaven from above. And by the sword shalt thou live, and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass, 
when thou shalt have the, have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off his neck, from, <laughs> from off thy neck. That's basically how we ended up as free slaves. Well, we weren't even slaves. We were free men into slaves and put in 400 years of bondage. Because Esau got his revenge on Jacob. On us. For 400 something years. Now, and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father Bless him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for, uh, for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. And these words of Esau, her elder son, to were told to Rebekah. And she went and called Jacob, her younger son, and said unto him, Behold, thy brother Esau is touching thee to comfort himself, proposing to kill thee. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice and arise. Flee thou to Laban, my brother to Haran, and tarry with him a few days until thy brother's fury turn away, until thy brother's anger turn away from thee, and he forget that thou, uh, and he forget that which thou hast done to him. Then I will sin and will, and fetch thee from from thence. Why should I be deprived also of you both in one day? And Rebekah said to Isaac. I am weary of my life because of the daughters of Heth. If Jacob take a wife of the daughters of Heth, such as these, <laughs> which are the daughters of the land, what good shall my life do me? 